What is up everybody and welcome back to another smartphone filmmaking tutorial. Today I'm going to show you how you can use the AirPods as a Bluetooth microphone and other options to capture the audio with your smartphone. Keep in mind that there will be a timestamp below to skip or go back to a particular part in the video. With that said, let's get right started. Let's get right started. Was that good English? So I'm first gonna talk about the setup I have going on over here. So I'm using the iPhone 12 Pro Max as my main camera. The app I'm using is Filmic Pro. The reason why I like using Filmic Pro is I have more control over my camera. And I'm also able to monitor the audio since the audio levels are displayed on the right side. This way I can avoid the audio levels peaking. The gimbal I'm using is the Home iSteady V2 gimbal. The reason why I like this gimbal is because it has an AI tracking sensor. This way you can track the subject regardless what app you're using. Filmic Pro doesn't have a tracking feature, so combining it with the Home iSteady V2 gimbal, I'm able to track myself. So by doing the OK sign, it will automatically start to track me, which is pretty awesome. And to stop tracking, I can just hold up my hands. Now, if you have the DJI OM4, you can use the Mimo app to track yourself. But the downside to it is that you don't have the audio levels displayed and you also can't use it with the AirPods. The first mic we will be using is the most obvious one is using the internal mic on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. But before we get into it, I'm going to show you the settings I use in Filmic Pro. So I currently have the selfie camera enabled and I have the auto wide balance locked. Uh, I'm shooting in 4K 25 frames per second and the exposure, the ISO is set to 23, the, which is the lowest and shutter speed is one over 50. Now, if you're recording with the selfie camera, make sure to select in the audio settings the front microphone. So let's now do an audio test. So this is how it sounds like using the internal mic on my iPhone 12 Pro Max. And that is the audio quality you get out of it. As you can see, I'm quite close to the microphone. And I find that using the internal mic, especially if you're recording at home, is a great option. The downside to using the internal mic is that you can't be too far away, otherwise you will introduce a lot of echoey and distorted uh, sound. So if I go further away, you will hear that the audio is more echoey. So if you're using the internal mic, make sure to be close to the camera. So the second option would be using the wired earphones. I can simply plug this into the side like so. I'm gonna check in the settings to make sure that headset microphone is selected. I'm gonna enable tracking, all right. So this is how it sounds like using the wired earphones on the iPhone 12 Pro Max. Uh, as you can see, I have tracking enabled and the wires aren't in the way. And I can also move a little bit further away from the camera and still capture, you know, decent audio quality. With the internal mic, I probably can't move this far away. What you also could do is get the microphone closer to your mouth. This way it might sound a bit better, but I like having the freedom to just, uh, you know, move my hands around when I need to point at things. Make sure to use the gain controller on the right to adjust the audio levels. You don't want the audio levels to peak like right now. Um, you want it to be in the orange, uh, yellow area sort of. Now, what if you want to do more instructional videos where you have to move around a lot, then probably a wireless uh, mic would be the better option. So the ones I'm using right now are the AirPods Pro, which I borrowed from Gabriel. Danke, Kollege. Keep in mind when using the AirPods uh, is that you can only use one earpiece. It will listen to only one of the microphones. Now, unfortunately, you can't use the second earpiece to record an interviewee, for example. Hopefully, Apple will update that in the future. That will definitely be a game changer. Now, when putting these on, I can actually hear my voice 
and it sounds so weird, I have to take it out. So when using the AirPods with Filmic Pro, you want to reduce the volume on your phone to avoid hearing yourself through the AirPods because that is super annoying. So to use the AirPods, you wanna make sure to head over to settings, audio, and make sure Bluetooth microphone is enabled. So let's test it out right now. Let's enable tracking. Tracking is enabled. So this is how it sounds like using the AirPods Pro with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And as you can see, the home iSteady gimbal is tracking me. And the great part is I can move wherever I want and it will still capture the audio. And as you can see, when I walk around, the gimbal still tracks me and it does a really good job at it. The fact that you can just, you know, take it out, put it in your ears and connect it with Filmic Pro is so powerful. So let me know what you guys think of the audio quality of the AirPods Pro. I mean, for instructional video, this is really a great option. Now, audio for me is very important because I always say that audio is half the viewing experience. But if you might happen to have, you know, AirPods at home and you're starting out making videos with your smartphone, this is absolutely a great option to get started. So the fourth option would be to record your audio separately and sync it in post. So if you happen to have a second phone, you can use the Rode SmartLove Plus with the Voice Nemo app. So I'm gonna plug this in and it's super easy to use. I can just plug it in using the right adapter and open up the Voice Nemo app. And in Filmic Pro, I can just use the internal mic as a reference. So I'm gonna select audio, make sure I have the front microphone selected. And once I'm ready, I can start recording over here. Test, test, all right. I can see the waveform and I can start recording over here as well. And I'm gonna clap to sync the audio later in post. This way you will see a peak in the waveforms and this way you can align both of it to have the audio sync. This is how it sounds like using the Rode SmartLove Plus with the iPhone 12 Pro Max. And I can also walk freely without having to worry and the gimbal will track my face wherever I go. So pretty awesome, right? So there you have it. These are the four microphone recording options I have for you. As you can see, the setup isn't that complicated. And depending on the type of video you're shooting, one of these microphone might be the right one for you. Let me know what you think about these four options. Make sure to leave a comment below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a thumbs up. Now, if you're new on this channel, make sure to subscribe because we are soon reaching 100,000 subscribers. And for those who have been a subscriber for a very long time, thank you so much for your support. Now, if you're not part of a smartphone filmmaking group, I created one for myself on Facebook. Make sure to join as you can share your work and get feedback from others. And here and then I go live to talk about smartphone filmmaking. If you haven't downloaded my free smartphone filmmaking guide, make sure to do that as well, as this guide will show you how to get started recording quality videos with your smartphone. Again, thank you so much for watching. Take care guys, and I will see you in the next video.